Hello everybody and welcome to the first video on this channel apart from the April Fools the other day for like 18 months. Um, sorry it's been so long, uh, two reasons that it's been a while. First of all, I'm back at university, it's just difficult to uh, make you know, videos and do stuff with the mod when I've got other stuff to do at university. And the other reason is that um, I've been working on a couple of other programming projects. Um, one of them is actually now probably kind of related to nuclear craft, so it's not been a complete sort of waste of time in terms of like mod dev time, uh, or as far as you're concerned as a player. Um, it will be a while until it is integrated into nuclear craft. It's basically a new programming language for controlling the, the multi-blocks, which should be pretty fun if you're into that sort of thing. Um, and the other two are also related to pro like programming languages and stuff, but they're more to sort of teach me um, things rather than be like in part of nuclear craft or anything like that. So it, nuclear craft has become like one of four programming projects for a while. Uh, two of them have kind of ended now. Two of them are kind of finished. So um, you know those won't be in the way as much anymore. So yeah, but basically those two those two things combined to mean that I didn't work as much on nuclear craft and these and these videos. Um, so sorry about that, but that's just uh, what happened. Um, you know, I was working on nuclear craft so much from about March to July of 2020. I kind of just got like a bit burnt out on working on the same thing because obviously nothing else was happening. It was like locked down and you know just working on the same thing for that long is just it does burn you out eventually. Um, I have been working on the mod since the last release, which was in about 2021 of uh, July 2021, I think was the last release of Overhaul. Um, I have actually been working on the mods since then, but just like on and off, like kind of, it's been a bit of a grind um, of just basically fixing a lot of bad old code. That's been the main thing. So in terms of actual content, there hasn't been a lot of the added so far. Um, so when the new release goes out, most of the change log um, will be me fixing old code that uh, was a bit rubbish. Um, and that's going to be the case for however long, because I do think that if I am going to, you know, efficiently add new content, such as the heat exchanger stuff, such as the new MSR stuff that I want to change, and so on, old code needs to be gotten rid of so that it's just less of a burden to have to deal with. Um, but it has to be done in a controlled way because there are now like a lot of serious add-ons for nuclear craft, so I don't want to like wreck their lives by you know making them having to you know change their code as well all the time. So it has to be done in this kind of controlled way, but uh, it also I think does need to happen because otherwise it's just a pain to work with. Um, but yeah, as far as the list of videos goes that I need to do on this channel, there's been a lot. They keep building and building and building. Um, it has been a long time. Uh, I want to first of all redo a bunch of videos. So I want to redo the, the solid fuel reactor, redo the turbine, redo the MSR. Um, because a couple of things I said in those videos are a bit outdated now, uh, or at least will be pretty soon with the MSR. I also want to redo the script add-on uh, installation video because it's much simpler now. You don't have to unzip anything, you just install them pretty easy. Um, I want to do a video on the quantum computers, but that's on the back burner because you know I, th I don't think as many people are interested in that, um, although I am interested in it, so I do want to do it, and I think some people would be interested in it as well. Um, and then there's just there's so many... It's, it's quite ridiculous when I look at this list how much incredible stuff people have made. Uh, that I still haven't done a video on. So for example, you know, there's the Trinity add-on. So Trinity, if you haven't seen it already, is a add-on that adds um, really, really cool explosives that I think um, a lot of the code was based originally on the HBM mod. So a lot of the HBM stuff has been taken into Trinity and sort of nuclear craftized. Um, so you get the cool HBM explosions in the context of nuclear craft and all its recipes. So very, very fun. There's also QMD, which is just a ginormous uh, mod. It's sort of a late game uh, particle physics uh, add-on for nuclear craft that uses the multi-block system. Uh, a, a ridiculous amount of stuff in this. That will probably be a couple of videos, maybe even three or four. I don't know. I have to uh, sort of plan it out a little bit and talk with Locke about stuff that he wants me to talk about in particular. There's also the Wilson add-ons. There's also Steam Editions, which has recently come out. There's Ollie's Reactor Builder, which is, I think, a bit outdated now, so I'll probably have to... Uh, I'll probably have to uh, maybe update that mod myself so before I do a video on it because it's a little bit outdated now. Um, and then there's also the all the script add-ons that people have uh, written using the script add-on system. There's like there must be a dozen script add-ons or more now, uh, and a lot of them add some some interesting stuff. Um, and then the other two things that are pretty massive um, that I surely uh, some of you watching have run into already without me having to do a video on them uh, are Thiz's reactor planner. So Thiz's Reactor Planner is the successor to Hellrage's Reactor Planner. So Hellrage has moved on to do other things. Um, but obviously we love what they did. You know, the, 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 that Reactor Planner was awesome. And Thiz has kind of taken the mental and um, and moved on with uh, their own Reactor Planner. 
And uh, he's also the one who made the bot in the Discord server. If you've ever used the bot to generate a React design, he also made that. So Thiz has done a heck of a lot of stuff for NuclearCraft and the, and the reactors. So we'll definitely do a video on that. Again, might even be two videos because it's, it's pretty big. It's a pretty big program now, has a lot of stuff in it. And there's also Sib's reactor generator, which is an online uh, reactor generator. If you've ever used um, lu235.com to generate your designs online, that's Sib's reactor generator. And uh, we'll do a video on that as well because I think it's uh, worth doing. There's also Chekhov's turbine calculator, which is used to calculate the best blades for a turbine. And there's also Redfire's turbine planner, which um, I think is still going. I actually have not uh, used it for a little while, but we'll do a video on that. Why not? Um, do a video on all the stuff that people have made because I think they, uh, you know, they deserve one. They deserve a bit of a shout out for the stuff they've uh, they've done. Oh yes, another thing I need to mention. I nearly forgot to mention it. Uh, I can't believe I nearly... F I just haven't got it on this list. I just haven't added it to this list. Um, Raven, in the NuclearCraft Discord server, has been working on a 1.16 port of the pre-overhaul edition of NuclearCraft. So they've suddenly... I mean, I was following what they were doing, and suddenly it seems like they've <laughs> they've implemented so much stuff. They seem closer to release than I was expecting. Um, there's still no ETA, so don't go and pressure them. But she's getting pretty close to um, implementing a lot of sort of the, the crucial features of uh, the pre-overhaul edition, and it's for 116. And I don't know whether they plan to update it to 118 and so on, but um, it will be there for 116 at some point. Uh, so for those of you who've been waiting for a port and uh, hoping that I would do it, it turns out someone went along and uh, has been doing it this whole time. It's just that I haven't done a video on it yet. I haven't done a video since they started on that project, I don't think. Um, but it looks like it's going decently well. So good luck to them. Uh, check out the Discord server. They've got a, a channel and a bunch of threads all dedicated to that, what they're doing. You can go and ask them questions and so on. Uh, so yes, uh, I think that is everything looking at this list. Uh, and I'm just trying to, now that I've already realized that I forgot, I've forgotten to add one thing to this list, I'm thinking now, have I forgotten any more? I don't think I have. I'll assume that I haven't. Um, so yeah. That's it. Thank you very much for watching, and uh, see you next time.